Welcome back to Politically Speaking. And if you have been in downtown's East Village lately, you may have seen San Diego's new Central Library under construction. The work is being done by way of a project labor agreement, a union-friendly setup that also was used to build Petco Park nearby. Non-union contractors and construction workers say PLAs are unfair and unnecessarily costly to taxpayers. On June 5th, San Diegans will vote on an initiative that would ban those agreements on city building projects. And we turn now to a point, counterpoint on that issue in favor of the measure is Eric Kristen, dir Executive Director of the Coalition for Fair Employment in Construction. And on the opposing side, Lorena Gonzalez, CEO of the San Diego Imperial County's Labor Council. And refresh my memory a bit, as I recall, a lot of the impetus for this came on a decision by Gaylord Hotel Properties to pull out of a plan to build a hotel on Chula Vista's Bayfront because they wouldn't accede to a PLA. Pick it up from there. Correct. It was a real debacle. Over 2,000 construction jobs that would be building a project right now. Uh, over a billion dollars being put into the uh, Chula Vista and San Diego regional economies. And unfortunately, as uh, Gaylord Entertainment indicated in a letter that they sent to the mayor uh, in 2008, they actually indicated because of the unproductive discussions with the San Diego Building and Construction Trades Council, we have concluded that their unwavering, unreasonable demands for a project labor agreement render the project unfeasible. We decided at that point that banning these hideous types of agreements, which discriminate against workers and increase project costs, was something that needed to be done. And since then, we've actually banned them in three different San Diego uh, regional entities, the county, the city of Chula Vista, and Oceanside, where voters overwhelmingly passed these bans and put open competition and fairness into their into law. Lorena, would, uh, would you like to well, pick up the dialectic? Eric case? had his letter right there, and although he said 2008, it was actually written in 2007 when Gaylord, and it says right there on the date, threatened to pull out of Chula Vista. They didn't. They came back. They came to the table. And in fact, when they left Chula Vista, they wrote a letter saying a lot of people will blame this on organized labor. Let's be clear. It has nothing to do. We were on track to getting an agreement with organized labor. So just to clear that up, Gaylord left largely because their shares dropped from $50 a share to about $7 a share. They were struggling financially. It has nothing to do with the project labor agreement. And project labor agreements are just basically a contract. And it seems to me this initiative in particular is just reckless. Since the initial initiative was put out um, by basically corporate lobbyists, a, a number of things have happened. The state has passed a bill that basically puts in jeopardy state funds any municipality that passes a project labor agreement ban. We see a, a number of these popping up in the private sector. Profit-driven private sector corporations use project labor agreements because they know it's the best way to get the biggest bang for their buck. People like Toyota, Saturn, Calpine, even Walmart builds their stores under project labor agreement. Well, you also indicated, uh, you indicated Chula Vista, which was a debacle and a lot of jobs that aren't being built there because of labor's influence. What we also saw was San Diego Unified and that board of incompetence who have led their district to uh, really insolvency. These are the same people that placed a project labor agreement on $2 billion worth of taxpayer funded projects. And what we saw is we saw a wide breadth of stakeholders. Look, when this passed in the county, a PLA ban, 76 to 24 percent. I couldn't get 76 percent of the people on the street today to agree what the weather's like, but they agree on this issue. Project labor agreements are bad. When San Diego Unified Dis District did it, they had 40% reduction in bidders, a 40% increase in the cost of their first project, 20% increase in the cost of their project since. This is a waste of taxpayer dollars. And what we've decided is to bring it to the people and let them have a chance, not big labor bosses either here or in Sacramento, but let them have a chance to codify into the city constitution the ability to protect workers' rights, okay. the ability to protect taxpayer dollars, and we're confident it will pass like it has everywhere it's been tried. Time for disagreement here. Why do, P uh, why do uh, PLAs and CBAs <laughs> work? Uh, you just well, Eric You're going to take it out from here. Uh, coming up with his own facts, obviously. Right. But the city of San Diego um, right now, you know, could pass a project labor agreement. The school district did. And let me tell you what happened. Every one of those bids have come in under the estimate, under the engineer's estimate. So in other words, they're building things cheaper than they ever thought possible. And at the same time, because of the local hire agreement, they're building it with people from San Diego. In fact, 40% of the people building our city schools are coming from disadvantaged neighborhoods here in San Diego. I think that's a positive thing and when we're using taxpayer monies I think taxpayers should work on those projects, should work on those projects first and local hire can only be achieved through project labor agreements. So along with that the fact that we're putting ourselves in jeopardy for state funding, hundreds of millions of dollars actually could 
be not funneled to San Diego, could be just sent to Los Angeles and San Francisco as a result of passing this so-called ban. That is the last word. Proponent, Eric Kristen, Lorena Gonzalez, opponent. And still ahead in the home stretch, uh, politically speaking, the sounding board, what NBC7 social media followers are thinking about the pension reform initiative. Stay with us.